Today I have three jazz solo lines for you, all arranged on four string bass guitar. Now none of these lines were originally played by bass guitar players. That first one I took from a solo by the great pianist Keith Jarrett on the standard Autumn Leaves. So it goes on the last eight bars of Autumn Leaves. We're in the key of G minor and uh, I've, I've changed the octave to fit it into the range of the bass guitar but this is how I play it. A one, two. And the next one is by the guitar player Mike Stern. So again, I've taken this down an octave. Now this comes from a book actually. So recently Mike Stern released a book with fundamental changes and it's about um, altered soloing. So he's talking about all of the different ways you can approach playing altered harmony on a dominant seventh chord. Now this particular example uh, features the, the whole tone scale. Uh, and the chords that we're playing on is just chord one, chord five in the key of C minor. So chord one, C minor, chord five, G seven. And here's how the line goes. It starts on beat one. So it goes one, two, three, four. This next line was played by a bass player. It was by the great upright bass player Niels Henning Orsted Pedersen, and it's a rhythm changes line. So it goes over the first eight bars of a B flat rhythm changes, and um, yeah, it comes in in bar two just after the third beat of the bar, something like this. A one, two, three, four, a one, two, three. If you're interested in knowing anything more about this vintage Paul Reed Smith bass that I'm playing here, I've done a review and demo of this. You can check out the uh, the link in the description below. Uh, or if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a, a card up in the top right corner. You can just click straight on that and it'll take you to that video. <laughs> Thank you. 